Alright, hello again friends and fans, Raptor here, welcome back, time for some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We got one last tire here on the balancer, got all the ones that ordered up that we needed from last time, so uh, it took me a second to figure out what they were and I got them all here in the shop and now we gotta just put the last one on and install it uh, quite easily. So this has been a fantastic game here so far by the way, so well, goof that one up. Sometimes it's a little hard to get them on in order, but it doesn't affect the uh, car too much. So that should be everything in terms of, uh, boy, the engine and everything else. A full rebuild of uh, what seems to be the uh, Toyota uh, GT or whatever people have been calling it. So uh, I'm not sure exactly. The Sakura, I believe, is the name of it. So, wow, it makes me think of my summer car. So look at that. The beauty is pretty much done. The only thing missing on it is I'm, uh, for whatever reason, not able to find that. Uh, I Actually, I'll have to go back and look. But uh, needs just another side view mirror. And the uh, I think the uh, what front windshield needs to be replaced as well. And that's it. So let's go ahead and get those parts then. We'll get a few things assembled. Then we're going to go race her real quick. So uh, we got all the rims we needed. Let's go ahead and get the uh, windshield up then. Uh, I think uh, just windshield. Oh wait, is it under? All right, maybe that's under body actually. Could still be under the body shop. Not sure where you buy. Maybe it's interior shop. Could be interior too. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see, windshield. Let's see here, windshield for the uh, GT. So GT windshield. Oh, that's not gonna pull it up. I see. Okay, let's try a Sakura. There we go. All right, let's see if we got what we need here. This is the uh, moon. Oh, we don't have that. Um, Looking for just a windshield here, and then we should be able to test everything out. We also have to paint this car. It's going to be very exciting here uh, to be able to have everything installed and ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that in there then. Front window should be assembled. Oh, whoop, that's a different car we're looking at. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, right side mirror, too, that we're going to need. Actually, let's take a good quick inventory of what we need as well. Oh, it looks like we need a, a trunk window as well for the Sakura. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we got the GT2000 stuff here. Let's just type in GT2000. Oh, actually, 200. That's not it. GT. Well, let's just type the GT. That'll pop it up. Okay, so we're looking for, uh, let's see, we don't want the GTR. We want the uh, trunk, but we want the window. A couple of things we got to find here. Um, there we go. There's the, oh, no, that's the Royal GTR. Uh, I can't actually find some of the windows and such here. Uh, let's see, GT2000. That doesn't pop up with any sync. Sakura. Moon. Let's try Moon. This actually isn't the moon. Um, ooh, wow, that looks like a fancy car, I think. Actually, we could redo the whole thing. Uh, what is this again? I want to make sure we got the exact car right out. The GT20 is the name of it. My mistake. I've been thinking of the 2000 since that's what every, everybody's been calling it. So let's go ahead and uh, get it in there with the GT20. GT20. There we go. That'll be helpful. So it looks like they don't sell windows for whatever reason. But we do have the ability to buy uh, headlights, taillights, front and back. We've got all that in store. So what else do we need? Main shop maybe? GT20? Hopefully they have windows here. Do doesn't look like we got windows here either. Do we got to find it? Oh, that's a shame. Maybe it's under interior then. GT20. Wow, there's nothing here for windows or anything? What is going on? Window. W-I-N-D-O-W. D-O-W. All right. Well, I wonder where we could get windows from. We, we need uh, trunk windows. Maybe we have to find them. I may have actually sold them or something like that, but I don't think they could all be replaced. Wow, look at the fancy seats on. Oh, wow. Some of these uh, wheels are looking very nice. All right, let's take a look inside the car, too, by the way. We do have our steering wheel ready. So uh, if anything, we can take a, a look to uh, wait. left click to use. Oh, we got to have it all the way on the ground, I think, in order to use it. And uh, Oh, no, that raises it back up. How do we bring it all the way back down? I want to be able to sit inside this car and see it in its true beauty. Oh, do, oh, wait, oh, let me try to hold it. Maybe it'll... Oh, there we go. There she goes. So click and hold to lower it all the way. There we go. Oh, we're about body disassembly. I want to get inside. Let me inside the car. That's probably because the door is so broken. But anyway, all right, well, we'll have to find some of these other parts here in a minute. But enough of this. Let's go ahead and try to race the thing finally. Let's go out on the on the track here and see what she can do. So let's uh, not, uh, not out to the racetrack per se, but let's go out to, uh, let's see, the car salon, the test track. There we go. That's where we want to go with the GT20. Oh, there's clip B missing from the car? There is clip B missing from car. <gasps> oh, my God. Are we missing something? Probably the alternate or the uh, distributor cap clip or something like that. Not a big deal. We'll find it here in a second. All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so it should be under here, right? I think it's down this way. Where's that distributor cap? Oh, there she is. And let me guess, it's missing the clip from the other... Oh, right here. That's where she's missing from. Okay, let's grab clip B then. Oh, man, clip, you're always slowing me down. 
I probably had it in my inventory from before. So we're missing clip B. Oop, clip A. That's not what we want. Clip B. Clip art, apparently. Okay, this should be everything we need in order to bring her out onto a test drive. So let's assemble that last missing part there. Not too big of a deal. Of all the things to miss, I missed the small little clip. Good thing it wasn't like the whole engine itself. That would have been uh, that would have been embarrassing. So, all right, there we go. That clip hung me up before. There we go. Always remember the clip. Do we need two clips? Oh, I guess we... I think I already see one on this side. Let's make sure we've got all of them. Did it take two clips? I see one on this side, too. You see that? Yeah, there's one on this side and on the other. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's throw the hood down. So, again, it's still a, a pile. Still, It's still a pile. The windows are not complete. I can't get any of that. Need to do some body work, you know, that kind of thing. We still need to find some missing parts. But for the most part, it is complete and ready to rock. So, let's see. Are we missing anything else? Serpentine belt A16. Oh, boy. So much for the test, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Got a long way to go. Let's see here. Serpentine A. All right, let's get that purchased then. All right, let's see. Serpentine A. Oh, boy. Which one is that, actually? Okay. Wow, <laughs> look at some of those belts. That's crazy. Let's see which one it actually needs. Wow, I, th I was pretty confident we had everything, but also I knew we would be missing something, too. So it's uh, A16 or I6, yeah. Do I call it 16? Is it I6? Sometimes it's hard to tell because they're so small. But this is the one we want right here. There we go. Wow. Pretty, uh... Actually, why isn't there a way to start the car up? There should be a way to... Yeah, I can't... All right, you know what? Screw you. Get the hell out of here. There we go. All right, the damn door. How do... Is there a way to turn it on? Well, we also need the, uh... Well, we're going to need to put that on there. Let's sit back in the car for a second. Definitely looks great on the interior. I mean, it looks cool. Um... Right, I guess we can't... Well, there it goes. Well, for us not having the uh, <laughs> thing fully assembled, she at least starts up. Sounds nice. All right, let's get the uh, belt back on there. All right, there's there's where it needs to go. Let's add that back on there. No parts to work with now. Serpentine belt B16. Hmm. Where's the other belt needed? Don't tell me it's inside. Hopefully it's not behind the timing belt. So it's a B, B, B16. So why did it tell us A16? That's wrong. So serpentine belt B16. Boy, it's like doing uh, like a puzzle or something like that. Okay, so serpentine belt B16. That's what we're looking for. Even though it was... Uh, it'll be needed here in a second. Well, I, th I thought all we needed was the tires, but it's kind of nice to know that we were missing some parts. It'll remind us for the next time, you know, that we just need to pop a couple of things on. Oh, one, one first and then the other. I see. Should have told us that both were needed. Actually, we needed to buy those again. That's why I didn't get those. All right, hopefully that's everything. I like how it tells us, though, that we need something rather than going out to the racetrack. So hopefully everything is done on this. This still isn't even a full restoration. There we go. Now we can finally drive. This is good. All right. Okay, we should be good to go here. Wow, we're missing our door. Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> all right, let's drive. Oh, my God. Ooh, that sounds cool. Oh, boy. Woo! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. She's a beast. Slow acceleration. And that is heavy, heavy, heavy. Ooh, watch it now. All right, we forgot our door. But that's all right. I couldn't even open the thing anyway. That's that's why we, uh, we're having trouble with it. Oh, careful. Wow, this thing is a boat. Woo! There we go. A little easier once you get up to second gear. Okay. Oh. All right. Now, into the brake test. Here it comes. And stop. Well, the brakes are a lot better than I thought they were. Okay, good test. Very good test. That that was nice. That that uh, actually might have worked out for us. That's uh, that's an impressive ride, actually, for it being such a clunker in a barn to now such a powerful machine, the GT20. Very, very nice piece of technology. All right, let's get back to the garage. Come on, baby. Let's get back to that garage. All right, so here we go. Everything's pretty much 100%. The uh, gearbox is at 86, so I think we... Uh, yeah, we, we probably just put that back because that was close enough for us. All right, not not too bad at all, the test drive. I missed a couple things, but whatever. It, was, it wasn't it was that big of a deal. Luckily, we didn't have to go in. It was just two belts, really. 
So not a, not a problem at all. That was good over at Zat B. So front window. So I wonder how do we find a front window? How do we find? We're going to need to find a front window, a uh, body right window A, trunk window, and uh, the door we'll have to put back on. Sorry about that door. I didn't mean. I didn't mean that. I was just. It was just a misunderstanding between me and the door. Actually, why can't we? Um, should be able to pull that door off. Can we? Let's pull that off. Let's see if we can, can we repair that. Oh, we can't even do anything to it at the repair bench. There must be a different section to work on, but uh, very impressive. We were able to do that one, no problem. So, all right. In order to continue on with the shop, we need to be able to. Um, we actually need to be able to do some more jobs. So let's get another job done here. So let's go ahead and move this uh, over to the. Um, let's move this over to the parking spot. How do we? Uh, oh, wait, not not the tablet. I think I I don't know if we have to find these windows. Though, if we're going to find them, I want them... There's, like, no way to repair them. So, actually, is that something we can repair, too? Oh, the... Oh, no. Somebody, like, broke off the antenna. Oh, well. We'll get we'll get to fixing this one soon enough. But let's uh, let's move this car for now. How do we move it? Car status. Oh, wow. We can sell this for 48000 We bought it for nine. We bought it for 9000 We We four times... Oh, wow. Almost five times. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Global body condition's horrible. Part condition, though, is 99%. So, if we can bring that body up, baby... We might be able to sell this one for. Can you imagine that? We bought this for nine thousand. We probably put about another ten into it for like almost. Let's just say twenty-five thousand. Let's just say twenty-five thousand. Uh, we're selling it for a hundred thousand. That's crazy. Possible. Possible. If it goes to auction, it could bring in a lot more than that. All right, let's move this car out of here. Uh, how do we? I forget exactly. What am I doing? Why? Why can't I just move this car out of the way? Should be a way to do this. I forget exactly how. Oh, there we go. I was looking for a different mode. There we go. Let's move you over to the garage. Uh, let's move you back to the parking. Store your cars in the parking area. All right, very good. Okay, so that is it for the test of the classic car. Uh, a little bit more work to do on it. We just need to have a little higher level in order to do that. So we got to expand the shop by doing jobs. Let's take one. Uh, let's see here. The Ro Royal Crown brake system me needs fixing. That's boring. Uh, let's see. Turbocharge, repair all running gear faults. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, wait, no, it's not. All right, we can take that one, and uh, let's see here. Oh, this is the Sakura Moon. This is the newer one. Oh, wow, that is sweet right there. That's what we're taking. That is awesome. That is awesome. What a classic car. That is sweet, baby. Wow. What's the custom? Oh, I thought I'd have a custom license plate. Where's it from? From North? Wait, what is that? Western Australia. Wow, what are you doing all the way up here? From all the way down under. Holy crap. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. What a what a beast! Look at this thing. Like you don't even we don't even. Oh wow! That oh the ghetto ness. Oh that is so wow. That's something, Mister. Wow, how'd you get that one? That's crazy. Look at that. All right, let's get that one up on the rack then. Hold on, let's just take a look inside. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice one to restore. Too bad we can't like buy this one. Okay, let's get it over to the uh, let's get it over to the rack, and let's take another job too while we wait. Uh, let's see here. Sloppy steering, uh, let's see, suspension clunks and rattles, sloppy car steering, 50, uh, let's see, brake system, repair all gear faults, engine isn't working, but it's, is working, but choppy, let's provide, oh, nice, another classic car, kind of, Ki kind of a classic car, I mean, more classic than the other ones we were looking at, all right, oh, it's like a gremlin, Whew, man, that one right there screams high school, wow, all right, well, let's get started on the, uh, the classic truck, so, uh, what's the deal on you again? Uh, let's see. Ooh, a lot of missing parts. Very good. A lot to do on this one. A lot to do. Uh, fix and... R oh, actually, wait a minute. Um, you know what? We could... Oh, God. I accidentally finished the order. <laughs> I was going to take it out on the track. Well, they should have actually confirmed with me. Oh, what a goof. Now I feel dumb. That's all right. It'll come along again. Not a problem. A lot of those jobs are recycled, so it doesn't matter. It looked cool, but uh, we'll get this other one in. I guarantee we'll find yet another one. No problem. None of these newer cars, though. Nah, that old one will be back. And this is the, now nah, that's one of the mission jobs again. All right, well, let's get the high school car up on the rack. I meant to actually, uh, that kind of sucks. I didn't mean to actually finish the job. I meant to uh, to take it for a test drive. Actually, in order to do that, you can just come over to the window. Nah, that kind of sucks. My bad, but not a problem. We'll uh, see that car again. I guarantee you me. All right, let's get her up on the rack. Both we have to do anyway. Not too interested in either of these cars, actually. The old truck looked good, but... Uh, you know, looks can be deceiving. I want to own it. That's the problem. All right, did we get a new job? Oh, yeah, another another same one. Yeah, next time we see one of those trucks, we'll take it next. We'll do it next. Don't worry. We'll see it again in the meantime. Oh, there comes another job. Well, right, let's check the phone. And there she is again. Fix and run into gear problems. See? 
You doubted me. Oh, this looks nice. This is a... Oh, this one actually looks decent compared to the other one. See, look at that. Within three seconds, problem solved. See? Now you can go ahead and delete your hate comment. Just relax. Calm down. So many people get mad at me. I'm sorry. It's my first time. It's my first day. Okay. Let's get started. Car status. Fuel filter. That's it? That's all you want? Oh, wait. He wants us to uh, do all that. Okay. All right. Let's take that one out on the track, actually, and figure out what the problem is if, it, if it's the gears. So let's go with the uh, Salem Flamo. Cannot start engine. Really? He said it could start. Huh. He said it's choppy. Engine starts, but it's choppy. That's what he said here. Engine is working, but it's choppy. Oh, okay. Change oil and filter. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and start with that then. We'll get the oil and filter done. That's going to be easy. That's an easy one. All right. Here comes the oil first. There goes all the oil into the pan. Very nice. All right. Job's done on that one. Back over to your resting place. Very good. And what's the uh, status again? Fuel filter needs to be replaced and oil filter and change. That's it? Just fuel filter and the engine and oil filter? I thought there'd be something a lot more than that. That seems, for the engine not working, is it really just the fuel filter? That seems a little, little too simple, I think. Um, let's see if we can repair these parts. So first of all, we need to find the... Oh, wait. We don't want to add parts. We want to remove. Uh, we want to find the oil filter, which is right around here. Well, there's the fuel filter, but the oil filter is right around here, too. Where is it? There it is down there. All right, and let's grab that. Oh, we got to lift it up. Oh, really? Oh, darn. Oh, well, we had to get the fuel filter out anyway. And actually, once we replace it, we'll have to have it up in the air, too. I miss going over to the computer. Our days of the computer are numbered, guys, because we now finally got ourselves a little iPad. Yeah, we can now uh, basically buy any of the parts we need from underneath the car. All right, come on now. You know what I meant. You know I wanted to take that out. Come on. There we go. All right, perfect. So the two parts that we have, let's take a look at inventory. We have ourselves a 14 filter and a... Uh, can we even repair these? These aren't even worth our time, I think. No items to work with. Yeah, you just got to buy new ones. Okay, well, let's get our filter, both fuel and oil. So uh, let's see. Filter. Oop. All right, so we want ourselves the uh, number 14. And we also want our fuel filter, which is right down here. Perfect. Okay, both purchased. Let's get that fuel filter back in. We're going to need to add oil, too. Let's hope I don't forget that. You know me. You know me. Who is this guy? What a good guy. Ah. All right, relax. All right, let's get her down. And uh, let's go ahead and get that oil filter in there, or fuel filter. And that's the last one. Oil filter in, fuel filter is next. Well, I guess we got to go back to normal mode. Hey, now. All right. Wow, that engine. Ooh, boy, that's that's an engine. Uh, let's see here. Fuel filter, where do you go? How do you do, sir? There you are. Fuel filter right here. Is that all? Is that all we need? Seems like too simple of a job. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. And just replace the other oil. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, do we... Oh, there we go. Oil fill plug. All right, let's see if we can do this one. All right, there goes the oil. Oh, she's thirsty. And we're good. Okay, let's see uh let's see if we did it right. Let's check the dipstick. How do I back out of this uh No? Oh, we hit escape. Okay. All right, next is to check the dipstick. Where is that? Do 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 do. do. There she is. All right. All right, pretty good. Now, um, some mechanics were saying in, in the comment section not to fill it full because uh, if it overflows, it's bad for the engine. Some people are saying, no, it should be all the way up to the max. You guys let me know. I don't know the difference. To me, it seems like you'd probably want it to be closer to max, but whatever. I'm not sure. And that's why I'm not a mechanic. All right, let's go. Job done, and let's finish that order, and that's going to be $188 for, oh, boy. All right, there you go. Well, only a couple of bucks for that. But actually, we were we were more interested in the XP. That's what we want, which is why you want to take some of these story miss missions, too. So let's go back to the car lifter on that one. There's the truck you all wanted to see. I'm sure some people got angry and like just folded their arms and were like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to live in a world where a class of cars is going to be thrown. I don't blame you. Actually, let's... Oh, can't we get in the car? Come on, I want to see the interior. Oh. Maybe you can only open the door if it's not on the on the lift. Maybe that's the deal. All right, let's find a different job in the meantime. This one might give us more XP, so I think I'm thinking about going with that one. But uh, I want to see what else we got for. Uh, ooh, what was that? Knocking noises from engine bay. See, I'm I, I think I'm just gonna take the uh, the turbocharged car just because uh, I think it just gives more XP. Uh, it doesn't actually say how much XP any of these will give, but I know there's a number of steps to that. And since it's a, a story mission. 
technically, then we're, we're going to just take it. So uh, let's get the old car onto the rack. Actually, can we take this for a drive? What's the job on this one? Oh, yeah, lots of them. Fix any running gear problems. All right, well, the best way to do that is to actually go test drive it if we're dealing with a gear issue. So let's bring it to the test track, and there we go. The Smith 1500. Mm. That uh, proud, what, what is that? Did that look like, that looked like a classic Chevy, right? That, is this a classic Chevy or a classic Ford? I'm not, you have to let me know. Because actually, I, I think I know what it is, but I, I could be wrong. All right, ooh, this thing's fast. Whoa. Wow, this thing's up to 60 kilometers an hour in just a couple seconds. I'm impressed. Ooh, and it handles pretty nice. Yeah, wow, handles so good I went right into the concrete barrier. <laughs> yeah, there's no punishment for that at all. So it's just it's just to go through these uh, solemns to just minimize the amount of time you have to spend examining products underneath the car, whether it's the oil filter or uh, the oil, that kind of thing. All right. You know what would be funny is if you could, uh, once you had it up on the rack, you could change the oil and a few other things and just get more money from the customer. Not that it's a bad thing. Everyone should get an oil change, of course. Man, this, this car is just awesome. This truck, just B.A., man. B.A. Baracus. All right, and come to a stop. Oh, the brakes on it aren't good. Oh, that's all right. Perfect. There we go. All right, well, uh, went off without a hitch. We just plowed right into a concrete barrier. Not not a bad start for me. Not a bad start for me. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. I think we're going to have to repair the gearbox for sure. Maybe take off the clutch, that kind of thing. Do a little do a little bit of work like that. We'll see. All right, back into it we go. Okay, ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, wow, there's actually quite a few issues to the car. Uh, mostly around the steering. All right, let's get to it then. All right, let's see what we got for car status. All right, so it looks like a lot of the issues stem around the sway bar. Okay, so a lot of it's around the steering. Any running gear problems? Well, there's a little bit more than that, my friend. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other issues we need to identify in order to find out every problem on this truck. So let's get her up on the rack. Let's go up a little higher there. Yes. What a cl look at that wonderful classic car, man. That just that classic truck is just sweet, absolutely beauty. Just just pure beauty right there. Mm. Just want it. Is that like bubble gum or something? Oh, I'm sorry. It just it looks cool. Purple's a good purple's a good choice. Okay, let's look underneath the car. Let's find out where some of the issues are. Definitely around the wheels for sure. And around some of the suspension. Yep, it's going to be front and back, okay. And then we'll have some engine issues to do as well. So let's leave the hood open. That looks look sweet when we got her up on the rack. Very good. Okay, let's get started. Um, let's go ahead and start with the, uh, I guess, this wheel here. Yeah, it's going to have a lot of issues over here with the suspension and such. Plenty of money to spend. I love that. Like, through, in, through a glitch, we were able to redo an entire car. That just, that to me, that's awesome. Glad we were able to do that. All right, very good. Ooh, boy. All right, let's get that brake pad off. The caliper's off as well. Now the brake pad disc ventilated is going off. Uh, how do we get to the suspension then? Outer tie rods are a few things that have to go. Hopefully we can take the suspension apart without too much trouble. Yep, that's going to have to go. Boy, a lot of this stuff is just looking real bad. Real bad here. I think it's a lot of this stuff that's just going to have to come straight out. All right, and let's also get rid of the uh, tie rod here. Actually, wait a minute. This whole steer... Well, the tie rod looks pretty bad. It almost is black. And actually, the steering rack. Uh, we're going to have to take it off from the other side in order to do that. Uh, let's see. What else do we need on this side? Um, let's just take another look under the car. Yeah, this is this is the floating steering column and everything. Hilarious. Well, actually, it's attached on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and get that other part off, shall we? Let's get this wheel off, too. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can reach behind. Actually, we can do that without some of these... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Actually, the brake pads uh, could need a little bit of love on that side, too. Let's get the inner tie rod off here so we can take that. Oh, we have to disassemble all that, too, huh? Oh, yeah. We got to go for the tire. Darn. All right. I thought there was a way around it, but no way around this one. Come on, now. Give me that tire. Actually, it doesn't hurt for us to look at the brake pads, too. And I think 
those may have been an oh yeah those uh yeah that's all that's all gonna have to come off here oh, wait the uh yeah we might have to take the hub cap off that one too the wheel hub all right brake pads are coming off ventilated disc you too all right good now let's also get that suspension out of there might not be a full issue but i just want to take it out here okay what else do we have uh actually we better not buy any parts until we pull everything out Okay, what else do we have for issues? Yep, we found rubber bushings are a problem on some of those. That's good. So that probably is the same issue over here, I bet. Uh, is there a way to inspect? Let's take a look under here. Oh, and that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's go to suspension. Examine. Let's try to take a look at the uh, suspension arm. Yep, that's looking a little poor. I think that's definitely going to be one, one thing that we're going to want to take out here. So let's take that off. And, of course, in order to be able to take out that tie rod, we're going to have to go for a few other things here. The bushings are probably more than likely going to be removed. Outer tie rod you're coming with so we can get to the uh, steering uh, rack right there. And uh, right here is what we're looking for. Okay, good. That's some of the basic issues for sure. Let's see if we found all of them. Uh, looks like there are three more issues on Discovered. Um... One, two, three right here. So I wonder if they're in the engine itself or if it's in the rear. It's probably the rear axle. Let's take a look behind. Uh, some of these are looking bad too. It could be the uh, could be the brakes in the back. Not sure if it's the. Hmm. Let's actually take a look. It wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to take a peek. All right. Looks like drum brakes back here. That's bad. Real bad. Oh, that, that that could be it right here. Actually, that, that might be it right here. The suspension. Rear suspension. Oh, wow. Leaf spring right here, huh? Wow. Good stuff here. All right, folks. Well, that's it for this episode. I'll be back to finish it up with this truck. We're going to find the uh, couple remaining issues here. I may have found them. We'll, we'll test it out. We'll get everything uh, repurchased, get this one back on the road. Then we'll be on to this job again, our million-dollar dream car. We already showed this one off before as well. And maybe we'll see uh, Kid Cool's internet car here again. Remember that, uh, what was it, like PewDiePie's car? Internet, uh, in what the hell? Like internet? Would you call him a celebrity internet personality? What am I? I'm an annoyance. An internet annoyance. We'll be back with more of that after this. I'll see you guys. Take care, and uh, welcome back for next time in advance.